here from Cooking with Coastline. What am I doing at a farmer's market, you ask? Well, we'll be doing a special today on Grinnell Mansion, and I figured while I'm here, I might as well get a yummy, delicious snack for our residents there. And I have here with me mm -hmm. Kim Ferrara Hello. from Mass in Motion, mm -hmm. and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the farmer's market coupons that we have for the seniors, yep. and also the SNAP program that's available. Thanks, Stephanie. Sure. Well, welcome everybody to our downtown location of our New Bedford Farmer's Market. Um, may, many of you may not know, but Mass in Motion, we kind of took over the management of the markets um, for this season. This is our first season. And the exciting changes that we've brought to our markets in our city is that we've allowed for the opportunity for people to use um, their credit and debit card. It's and a great option. Yes. Oh my God, because I don't carry cash. Right, I exactly. ran out of the house, I had a dollar on me. <laughs> um, and also your SNAP card. Um, so that's been a huge change and the effort really for that is to really increase access to fresh and local healthy Definitely. fruits and vegetables and other foods. So we've also worked really hard to increase our vendors. As you see and we were talking about, there's no, not only produce, there's chicken, you can buy um, eggs and a variety of meats and salads, prepared salads. Um, there's also flowers and homemade jams and jellies. There's also, if you're having a little sweet too, snackadoodles come. Nice. Um, at our other site at Brook Lawn, there's also a, color, a couple other baked good options where someone um, tries to source locally and has some gluten-free options for, for oh, residents as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, this year, huge change is now you can use your card. Um, and I think what better way to do it is we can hop over to the Mass Emotion tent and I can show you exactly how it works. Great, let's do it. All right, Stephanie, so if you are coming to the market and you find that you have no cash or you um, have your SNAP card, what you do is you find the blue sign. This is nice. our central sign for where our market assistant, David, will be. And also Dawn, who is our intern, who has a variety of um, materials for anyone who's looking for um, you know, local great. food guides or um, ways to use your produce and recipes, recipes. Oh, a map great. of the downtown, just some really helpful um, information um, if you would like to check it out. So great. anyway, so you find the table and you put out, take out your card, I got my card, I hand it to David and I say, David, I would like $20 um, in tokens, please. Okay. And we're doing this on a visa or a debit? Yep. Uh, visa, please. He will swipe the card, and in return, I will get tokens that will be cash. And all oh, vendors, so all the vendors, accept these cute, uh, accept these tokens. Yep. Um, what we've done is to decipher between SNAP and credit card. Mm -hmm. We color coded them, which I'll show you in just a minute. So I, all I simply do, gotta love technology, is sign my name. So easy. Now, how long have you been doing this for? This is the first season. So we worked all through the winter to get more vendors and we worked to get the machines. Luckily, the USDA had a program that if this was your first time yep. um, wanting to offer this service, um, you're eligible for free equipment. So we're very fortunate to get this equipment for free. So awesome. Now, Thank is this you. available at all of the markets yes. throughout New Bedford? Exactly. New so Bedford. we have okay. three markets. Mondays is at Brooklawn, which the entrance is on Ashley Boulevard. Yep. And Thursdays to here, Custom House Square. And Saturdays are at Klasky Common. And you will find David at all three locations yes. re uh, ready worker. to take your <laughs> money. <laughs> So here we have it. I have these $5 tokens, which are in blue. And if you are a SNAP participant, you can get your tokens in either $2.50 or dollar, and they are in red. So this is just an easy way for our farmers to keep track of if yep. it's SNAP or if it's debit or credit. Now, what if you need change? So I see you have the $5 tokens. Yep. So if you need change, can you get change in tokens? We just can get regular cash back. Oh, if okay. you're using a debit or credit card, mm -hmm. that is the same as cash. Okay. So if I bought something for $8 and I presented 
two tokens, yep. they would just give me two dollars back. back. The okay. difference is if you are presenting your SNAP card, mm -hmm. there's no reimbursement for SNAP. Okay. So your best so that's bet. Good to know. Yes, that's why we wanted to give a couple different. Um, denomination options yep. because you really want to try to spend as close to that denomination as, as possible, possible because you won't get Cash you won't back. get right. a refund you exactly won't get your money's worth exactly okay. and so now we can just go shop at the vendors the fun and part. Yeah. exactly the fun <laughs> part <laughs> Hey guys, I'm with Derek from Brooks Bounty Farm here at the downtown New Bedford Farmer's Market. And uh, Derek, I just have a couple of questions for you if that's okay. Yeah. Um, so for our consumers that are watching here at home, what's the benefit of buying from a local farmer's market as opposed to going to a grocery store? Sure. Well, one of the biggest benefits is everything that you're buying at the farmer's market was harvested fresh. Yep. Uh, so like everything at our table today, the stand was all harvested this morning, with the exception of maybe a few of the potatoes and onions that we dug last night. Um, nice. And you know what that translates into then for customers is that stuff keeps better in the fridge. So when they come home from the no. farmer's market, you know, we have people, somebody was just here said, oh, you know, I had, uh, you know, basil that's kept all week, it's just in a vase on the, on the table. So right. you, know, you, you don't have as much waste that you might have at a grocery store where you buy something and it goes bad in a couple of days. You know, right. stuff is really fresh and it stays fresh. Right. And if you think about it, if you have produce that's coming from California, by the time it gets harvested, gets on the truck and gets to your grocery store, you may not be buying the biggest nutritional bang for your buck. Right. Sure, a lot of things like green peppers are a good example of that. You know, vitamin C starts to deteriorate in yep. the crop after it's yep. been harvested. So the quicker you can get it from the field to your table, uh, makes a big difference in the nutritional quality. Exactly, exactly. So we're going to be making a salad at one of our congregate sites. Okay. Anything that you would recommend? I love just throwing a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables on there. Sure. Well, cucumbers are definitely in season still. So yep. You know, those are going to be one of the things that would be a highlight of a summer salad. Yep. And then yep. Um, for folks that like tomatoes we have these uh, small cherry tomatoes you're welcome to try one see what you think Ooh. a lot of people will just slice those in half and then put them into a salad they have a much sweeter flavor than a traditional sure, uh, large to one. tomato so give it a shot and see what you think. wow you know and I'm not a huge tomato fan okay that's honest <laughs> but actually it's very sweet I really did like it yeah. Very good, very um, good. So, in, in, you know, some people will do uh, herbs in the salads, but a lot of times the red onions, we have some red onions in the back that would work oh, out well. Oh, great, yes, um, I love red onions. You do fresh onions. carrots. Most people don't go on jalapenos to a salad. You have to have a little more interest in, <laughs> in spice. Um, but yeah, cucumber and then, you know, have a, a nice head of lettuce or something to go oh, with the Oh, perfect. Base. Oh, that'll be great in our salad. Now, what do you have coming up next as far as crops go? Uh, well, we're really getting into tomato season, so yep. that's going to be the highlight of the next few weeks. Um, yep. We'll also be picking melons in a couple weeks, which mm -hmm. is a nice thing, a seasonal treat. Uh, and then as we get into the fall, we start picking winter squash, things like butternut squash, acorn squash. So good. Uh, lots so of good. fall crops like broccoli and cabbage as well. Yeah. Great, great. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. Enjoy your day. Thank you. And you know, actually, one other thing that's really great about having a farmer here is that they're the experts, you know? So if you had any questions on how to store it or pickle it or anything like that, they would be the experts to tell you how to prepare that fruit and vegetable. Yeah, so. you know, the best way to shop at a farmer's market is to ask the farmer what's what's the best thing at exactly. the table and they're going to give you the, the honest truth. Exactly. So, thank you very much. I hear that you have a CSA program. Yes, Can we do. you explain that a little bit for maybe some consumers who don't know about that program? Sure. So we raise fresh, all natural chicken. Nice. We use no hormones, no antibiotics. Mm -hmm. The chickens feed a natural diet that we grow on the farm, and that's supplemented with non GMO feed, which a lot of people think is very important, mm -hmm. especially with what's going on with chicken in the news. Right. So, what we feel is important is to be able to offer people that option and up you know until December 30th. So our yep. CSA runs from April 1st to December 30th. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reserve as many chickens as you want. You can pick up weekly, you can pick 
have monthly, we have five different pickup locations. So we feel we have a very flexible CSA mm -hmm. uh, and also a very affordable CSA for a really high quality, fresh, nutrient-dense chicken. Right. You know, and a lot of consumers too, you know, they want to know what's going into their their meat, their chicken. You know, we're very concerned of what's being put into them. So another benefit too of shopping at a local farmer's market, you can talk to the farmer. You know exactly what they're being fed. You know how they're being raised. Absolutely. We, we fully believe in the know your farmer, know your food. Exactly. We're happy to meet with folks and talk to them about any special requirements that they might have. Um, we also, just as an example, we have mm -hmm. some folks that are undergoing chemotherapy mm. and we provide them with chicken bones at no charge so that they're able to make yeah. bone broth, which is excellent for folks that are undergoing chemotherapy. It's easily digested, wow. also very nutrient dense and, and healthy and helps them get through a very difficult period of time in their life. Wow, that's really nice. So you could order and then come up here to pick it up? Absolutely. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then we also have a commercial kitchen in Mattapoisa at the Knights of Columbus Hall on oh. Route 6. Okay. And we recently started our own farmer's market there on Wednesdays, and that's from 3 to 7. And we also cook there, so we serve fresh chicken that you can oh. eat in or take out on a Wednesday. So How if nice. you're really not sure, you can come in, try it. It comes with two sides. It's half a chicken for $10. It's probably really one of the best deals in the area. Wow. And the problem would be that once you've tasted a real fresh chicken, <laughs> you can't go no, back. You can't oh, go back. Yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. Aren't these zinnias beautiful? They're only a dollar fifty. I'm buying one for myself and my mom. You know, again, another reason why I love coming to the farmer's market is that you can find a lot of unique things here that you may not necessarily find at your local grocery store. So now, can you tell me the difference between a purple pepper and the green pepper? What's the difference? Just, just, just a milder flavor. It's not milder as, flavor. Yeah, it's, it's not as, uh, the green's a little stronger. Yep. It's just, it's just mild, yep. mild, sweet taste. Hey, smack of doodles. I'm so excited. I love cinnamon rolls. And I love this. This is what every dietitian says. Everything in moderation. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Cinnamon rolls can fit into your diet. You see? Absolutely. Top okay. Balance. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Ah. And it's so fresh. Yes, so fresh. So I made out great here today at our local downtown farmer's market. So now I'm going to head back to Grinnell to meet up with Heather and Sonia. My name is Sonia Garcia and I am the property manager here at the Grinnell Mansion. I work for Harbor Light Community Partners. And I'm Heather Robillard. I'm the Congregate Housing Coordinator here at Grinnell Mansion and I work for Coastline Elderly Services in New Bedford. We're located here at 379 County Street. 
So this here is our living room in which our residents can gather here and socialize and watch some TV. Um, they have an opportunity to read the newspaper um, and just gather and, and be social. And over here we have our dining room where we have lunch meals served Monday through Friday from the Elderly Nutrition Program at Coastline. Uh, the lunch meals are served family style which allows the residents to get together and socialize and spend some time uh, with each other. And over here on the wall we actually have photographs that show the history and the transformation of the mansion over the years. Grinnell Mansion was built as a private residence for Joseph Grinnell. It is a Greek Revival style mansion built in 1832 by the famous architect Russell Warren who is also responsible for other mansions in the city of New Bedford. Joseph Grinnell was a U.S. congressman and therefore many important and influential people to U.S. history have walked through these doors including Abraham Lincoln. In the early 1990s, Will ended up purchasing the property and converted it to um, 17 units for elderly and disabled individuals. The Garnell Mansion is now owned by the Women's Institute. Congregate Housing is a joint program between the Executive Office of Elder Affairs and the Department of Housing and Community Development. Congregate Housing is a shared living development designed to integrate the housing and service needs of elders and disabled individuals. The goal of Grinnell Congregate Housing is to increase self-sufficiency through the provision of supportive services in a residential setting. Congregate Housing is neither a nursing home nor a medical facility. It does not offer 24-hour care and supervision. So the Grinnell Mansion consists of 17 units, which each unit is one bedroom. It comes equipped with a kitchen, a bathroom, a TV room, and a small little dining area. And now we're going to go and join Stephanie in the kitchen. Let's go see what she's cooking. from the farmer's market and now I'm at Grinnell Mansion and I have Roland here, one of our residents. He's going to be helping me prepare the salad for everybody. So thank you so much Roland for helping me with this today. Uh, thank you for picking up this stuff for everybody here in the residence. They yeah. will enjoy it. I know. I really think they will. I, you know, there's so many unique things that you can get there. I mean things like purple peppers, um, all kinds of different little tomatoes. So it's really, you know, a great place to find some unique fruits and vegetables too. So Roland's going to be cutting up the salad for me. The heads of lettuce, I'm going to start on the cucumbers over here. Um, so Roland, how long have you been living at Grinnell? A year and seven months to the day. A year and seven months. Well, happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> seven months later. Seven months later. Um, so tell me, what are some of the things that you like about living here at Grinnell? It's a nice place to live. Everybody's pretty much friendly. Everybody yep. gets along. Yep. Nice neighborhood. Yep. Close to downtown. Mm-hmm. Not that far off the bus line at all. And pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And I just put this building. There's a few programs into it that's going to Hi. Awesome. What okay. are you making today? Hi, Heather. Actually, we are making a salad for the residents Okay, here. very nice. Is there anything I can do to help? Um, actually, yeah. If you could start on the salad. Dressing, sure, I can do great. that. Okay. So Roland was just telling me how much he likes living here. Oh, right great. Now. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. I know. I mean, how many people really can say that they live in a mansion? Yeah. I can't say that. I can't say I live Neither in a Neither can I. No. And it's so close to so many different amenities too. Again, like the farmer's market, it's only, you know, a couple of miles mm -hmm. away, if that. Actually, six blocks, four blocks six down. Six to four blocks. Six blocks Very down, close. four blocks yeah. down. Mm -hmm. six, yeah, six blocks away actually. Right, and you guys got some farmer's market coupons too, correct? Yes, yeah. all that stuff comes in handy with oh. the fresh vegetables right from there. Oh, I know, it's so great. Comes in very handy. And so what other things um, are here for the residents? Well, Monday through Fridays, we have the lunch meal from Coastline, from the nutrition program. Um, and we actually serve that family style in the dining room. So it gives an opportunity for residents to come together and eat lunch together and socialize. Nice. 
um, Thursday mornings we do coffee together and we do some other activities throughout the month. Great. Mm -hmm. They also have me come. Yay! And do nutrition <laughs> we do. Yes. Yes, we do. We're very happy to have Stephanie here to do yeah. those for us. Great. Yeah, it's nice when you have those different things and get mm -hmm. to socialize and do some nice interest in this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So once I'm done cutting up these cucumbers, I'm going to start cutting up our peppers. I was so excited to find this purple pepper because I've never seen one at the grocery store before. No? Ever. No, I've never seen one. And the farmer was telling me that it's fairly sweet. Oh, um, is it? It is. It's fairly sweet. He said it was in between like, yellow pepper and an orange pepper. Oh, really? As far as sweetness goes. Yeah, it's not Sounds quite good. like the red. Um, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to using that in our salad Great. today. Okay. And Roland, you used to be a chef. Yes. So we are in really good hands today. We are in good hands. So where did you used to work? Well, the business is no longer in there, but I used to work for Zekla Coffee in Haven on Alden Road. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And you used to cook in the service too, correct? Yes. You said? That's awesome. Do you cook for the residents here? Some of them I do up in my yeah. apartment, yeah. Roland's a wonderful cook. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Yeah. You tried a few of the dishes. I have. I have, definitely. The salad looks great. It does. Mm -hmm. Once we toss it, it'll look really nice. Yeah. Look at all the pops of color, though. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. We recommend to, you know, we encourage everyone to try to eat a rainbow. You know, they want us to vary our veggies, vary yeah. our fruits, mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, so it's good, you know, to get a variety. So we've got purple, red, orange, green, mm -hmm. and we've got all kinds of colors going on here. Yeah. So, okay. the dressing coming along. I think it's good. It's good. Do you want to try some? <laughs> sure. And you can let me know. Okay. Let's see if we need to add anything. No. Yeah, so one way to do that is just to take a lettuce leaf and try it. Because you wouldn't want to just take a whole bunch of dressing all at one time, right? Mm -hmm. So might as well get a good sample of it. It's perfect. Is it? It is. Good. Great. It's so good. And it was very easy. So easy to make. <laughs> you know, and a lot of times there's a lot of hidden additives to our salad dressings. You know, some people may feel a little intimidated to make mm -hmm. a salad dressing. Yeah. But really, what our two main ingredients were our olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Right? A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. And really, that's all you need. That's all you need. Some people add Dijon mustard in there, oh, that kind of like good. as an emulsifier mm -hmm. because, you know, the oil and vinegar, mm -hmm. they tend to separate. So, yeah, there's all kinds of different ones you can do. Um, or you could do a uh, apple cider vinegar in the fall if you're having like a nice fall yeah. salad. Sounds nice. So that's always, it's always another good option mm -hmm. to do. Okay. Do you have any experience cooking? Not too much. Not too much, no? <laughs> so I'm learning. <laughs> oh, so that's good. Oh, well, that's good. There's always room to learn. I agree. Always room to Definitely. learn. Definitely. And Roland was telling me the best way to cut peppers, which I greatly appreciate. <laughs> I used to do my own thing, my own way of cutting peppers. Which took a little bit more longer than the way you were taught. I know, I know. <laughs> and so I greatly appreciate that. How are we looking with that? If you wouldn't mind, you could cut this up for mm -hmm. me too. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, I will add these in here. Purple peppers. Okay. Getting our vitamin C, our fiber. Looks great. Yep. You know, and with Meals on Wheels, Mm -hmm. A lot of people may not realize all of the work and effort that goes into preparing a menu yep. like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
So with Meals on Wheels, it's very specific guidelines. So there has to be so much protein, okay. so much vitamin A, mm -hmm. vitamin C, fiber, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, so it may look like, oh, we're just kind of throwing a couple of things mm -hmm. together, but really there's a lot of work that goes mm -hmm. into it. So, um, and two, you know, we have to keep in mind the color as well. Okay. You know? Um, because you don't want to have everything with the same kind of color because then True. it looks, mm -hmm. you know, it looks a little bland. Good. You want it mm -hmm. to be appetizing and appealing, yep. you know. Um, but Meals on Wheels, really, it's such a great program. It's a great, great program. And it's wonderful for our residents here. Of course. Okay. Not only is it a nutritional value, but it's also a chance for the residents to socialize together and have lunch exactly. together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So mm -hmm. It's kind of nice, you know, like, even when you, you're rooming in college, it's kind of like they're doing the same thing here. You know, mm -hmm. they're all rooming here, and they eat together. Well, that socialization is what's very important. nice Absolutely. about this building, everybody has their own apartment, and they can right. get together down in the kitchen or mm -hmm. in the TV room to sit down and just get together and just talk to one another. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What's nice about it? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, of course. All right, so we're just about done. And then we'll toss our salad, and then I think that we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. Good job, Roland. <laughs> really, I appreciate it. This is a yeah. lot of chopping that I would have to do all by my lonesome, so mm -hmm. I'm very glad that you're here to help me with this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet my time, because usually I cut down with $75,000, please. $75,000, boy. <laughs> That's just my way of joking around. <laughs> that means I'm having fun. Oh, good. Very good. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it, it looks so great. Good. Yeah, so we can just give it a bit of a toss. So now, did you put some raspberries in there too? I did. So that yes. added a little more color. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. And I got these also at the farmer's market. All of the fruits and vegetables here, we got at the farmer's market today. That's great. Okay, so we'll just give it a little bit of a toss. And how does, there we go. Give it a little bit of a toss. Want me to move this? Sure. Look at all that color, it looks so good. So good. So this will be a nice little surprise for our residents today. Yes, it will. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now that looks gorgeous. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> it looks so good, so healthy. Okay, so why don't we go out and... Into the dining into room. Into the dining room and we can get this table. to our residents. Sounds great. All right, okay, thanks. for you today. Um, we went to the farmer's market downtown and we prepared for you a nice salad. Here you go, and we have the dressing that we made. And we have some fruit from the farmer's market also. Yeah, some peaches and some nectarines. Here you are. And what are we having for lunch today, Stephanie? Thank you, Heather. So for lunch, we're having a barbecue pork slider. Um, with potato wedges and corn. That salad looks great. Oh, it does look good. So colorful. Do you like some corn? Enjoy. I'll take this. Thank you for visiting Grinnell Mansion. Oh, it was my pleasure, Heather. Thank you for having me. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Coastline.